in this video, I wanted to show you Google's uh, ad personalization and some of the information they're making available and accessible. I think this is especially important given um, some of the fallout from Facebook. A lot of people are kind of scrambling, trying to figure out what to do. And I'm presenting Google in various facets as a viable alternative, potentially. Um, and for Facebook users, you're used to segmenting according to interest. And Google has that ability. It's a little bit harder. It's not necessarily built for that right out of the gate. But I think that you can crowbar your way into it. Um, if you're willing to be patient and creative. But I wanted to show you, um, it's not an exhaustive list, it's actually based off of my own personalization, so this is gonna get a little embarrassing and weird. I wanted to show you the way that Google um, is cataloging certain interests and how they're making it available to us, and more interestingly to me, how it is they've identified some of those interests. So we're gonna dive in here, hopefully this doesn't bore you to death. You can go and see this information um, on your own behalf, by the way. So if you go to this link, which I'll include in uh, description of this video, um, it will show you your ad personalization and, and how your ads are personalized. So here we have, you know, 25 years old, male, SEM Rush, language English. This is all spot on. And, you know, SEM Rush because I visited their website. Some of the stuff, like I don't use Snapchat, I don't know what rapid fire tools is, I don't really go to Best Buy often. So I imagine this is like, you know, in, I guess the reason that my browsing history isn't necessarily um, perfect is because I do so much, you know, we have. I don't know how many clients that are coming in on a regular basis asking for like estimates, reviews, et cetera, evaluations. And so I do a lot of research on various industries. And so that could kind of convolute the narrative here just a little bit. But it's still interesting to see, you know, like Best Buy, your visit to the advertiser's website. Don't remember doing that, but I, I believe Google. Uh, the one that I thought was really funny and uh, threw me a little bit for a loop was, ah, Bollywood and South Asian film. Now, y'all, I don't watch Bollywood movies. Uh, there's nothing wrong with him. I, I, you know, I could, I could even name a Bollywood actor or two, but it's not something that I pursue. It's not something that I would have, at least not that I can think of. Like it wouldn't have come up in like you know a, a client and or competitive search. So part of me wonders. Um, Google estimates this interest based on your activity in Google services, such as YouTube, while you were signed in. Man, I don't. I feel like I'm being stereotyped here a little bit, Google. Uh, which I think is I think it's funny. It makes me wonder whether or not Google just saw Qasem Aslam and thought, yeah, he probably watch, watches Bollywood movies. Um, there were a couple other ones that I thought were interesting too. Business and personal listings, that makes sense. Um, combat sports, my kids go to jujitsu, awesome. Some of this stuff feels a little bit extraneous. Um, you know, we've got a, a, a real estate investment company, so a lot of the home stuff, I wonder if it's not based there. Um, Mac OS is weird. I, you know, I, that makes sense though because I'm, I've been doing so much research on the iOS updates. MLM business opportunities? Probably not. Um, how did they figure that out? Where did that even come from? Google services. Okay. Uh, mortgages. So a lot of, you know, I travel so much and it's interesting how well Google catalogs that. You know, we do conferences in various places because we're, we're speaking and so, you know, like that's a mastermind. Um, that's a, a, an event. That's the affiliate summit. Um, I forgot where we're going to Portland. Um, San Diego's uh, traffic and conversion. So it, it's cool. Again, if you are targeting people based off of potential geographic interests, I think that Google does a really good job. You know, like I, uh, for Northern Florida, that was a very quick one day of research for a trip that I actually am not taking. And so it's interesting that that's even cataloged. Yeah, um, but good for them. You know, some of this stuff, again, is kind of nebulous, sort of extraneous. Uh, but some of it is also really, I think, really cool. Um, this was one women's interest. I thought that was funny. Uh, vacation offers watches. That one's weird to me. I wonder if that's on behalf of a client. But there was one. They had my socioeconomic status, which I thought was interesting. Maybe a little intrusive. But good for us to know. Household income high. Uh, Google estimates this demographic because your signed in activity on Google services is similar to people who told Google they're in this category. So, I don't know. I think they're withholding information there just a little bit um, as to how they're landing. But I do really like this visual. And I like, especially if you're coming from Facebook ads, ad categories, alcohol and gambling. Okay, so they're not personalized, but you may see them. And I don't have an issue with either of those things. Uh, if you're coming from Facebook, I think it's important for you to know that you can play this game. You can you can advertise on Google from an interest-based standpoint. You're, you're you know, using Google's display network or YouTube. 
um, it's outbound and the, the problem with Google outbound is you need a, you need a mass of data in order to start to kind of you know whittle down what's working and what's not working it's not the Facebook's segmentation tends to be a little bit more focused and granular um, and you see results sooner so with Google you need to be willing to spend for a longer period of time to in, or, in order to get Google down to the point to where it's like oh I found who's this is working for and then it runs really well we had a client who's selling info products and they're using the Google Display Network to do it and when they told me this on the call on our introductory call I didn't buy it I was like there's no way and we looked at it and and turns out they ended up hiring us but it turns out that they were kind of crushing it to be honest with you now they spent a significant amount of money they were doing you know 40 50 grand a month and I think it took them about three months before they were able to optimize to a point to where it was profitable. But they did it, and they did it using display, using interspace segmentation. So I thought this was a really good visual as to how Google provides, uh, uh, you know, personalization to advertisers, what type of categories they're providing, um, where they're getting the information, and um, yeah, something of an academic exercise. But it's worth knowing. Uh, check out yours because that can be kind of interesting too. See if you know they may say that you like Bollywood movies, and. Uh, I hope this helps. I shoot a video every day. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.